So I'm 41. And... So somebody who he ain't. I'm not, oh, is he done dreaming? At this he ain't, he's, I mean, if can he be a younger man? He may have to because I want a man with no kids because I want my own family. You want a so, man with no so, kids? So oh, go down, go down, go down. This nigga ain't go, out there. Go, go you looking down, for nigga. Jesus. Go, yes. And he, he, he still ain't came Can back. Can we please find Jesus? <laughs> you know, Jesus, you want a single, Jesus could carry the cross. rich, Jesus, Jesus could be high-functioning, yes. smart. Yes. That nigga is Jesus not, he got, be, he got Jesus bitches. Jesus could be crucified and saved and resurrected. Yes. God, bring me Jesus. <laughs> there is no single man with no kids that is rich. Nick, that, I that date man them. does not know. I date them. They, they I are, date they, them no, all the time. Not, they ain't where they at. Baby, I date them. <laughs> they're, they're dating. We're still dating. I don't have to rush into marriage because. That are Yes. Single. Yes. Fully single. Fully not single. Just you. Fully single. No kids. Fully single. No kids, baby. And they're younger though. They're 32, 33. Uh, they're, they're younger. Okay, yes. That's, that's, I'm that's, not that's, saying that's, they're 40. They are younger. All right. All right. But even those dudes, come on now. No. Uh, you know. You telling uh, me those men that you talking about don't got options? I'm sure they do, but why? I'm and, not concerned with options. And so, okay, yeah. so because as high valued as you are, and I, as high functioning you are, they're probably those. They that's why they got but those. I want to say too. that this is an alpha a male who has everything that you desire, and he's young. He mm -hmm. gonna he gonna act out of ego. He's gonna act out of certain. And it's 100. His emotional intelligence isn't all isn't all the way there yet. You're yeah, right. Yeah. So you're and, right. And in that, you're gonna you're have right. to put up with some shit. You're right. And therefore, Absolutely. I mean, but I wish you the best. But that's what I think. The, my last point here is this is probably a whole nother video, but she talked a lot about like being younger or, or no, she was being 41 and wanting to date a younger man who has no kids. And you heard Nick Cannon in so many words tell her that she was being a bit delusional because the big question there is if a man is in his late 20s and has no kids. Why would he get with a woman who looks younger as opposed to getting with a woman who is younger because of the biology component of the simple fact that women who actually are younger have a better chance in the Department of Fertility? And that is not me saying that. Any doctor will tell you that. So, um, and this is, again, not to shame women. I am also in my early 40s, but I'm saying all this because I know. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, it, so there was, to me, sounds like some delusion okay. that I call the being Mary Jane syndrome. And what it is, is, I don't know if you all remember this show called Being Mary Jane with Gabrielle Union. Came out several years ago, but on this show, you see Gabrielle Union struggling with uh, relationships. Struggling to get into a relationship, to maintain a relationship, to understand love, to invite love into her life. I mean, it was just a lot of problems, but her career was on point. And although yeah. this was just a show, right? Like this was a show, but I think in many ways this show mirrored what happens often in the lives of many women and in this case, many black women. And I saw some of this when uh, Dr. Cheyenne Bryant was talking about her own life. It just reminded me of the being Mary Jane syndrome where it's like everything is intact your education your career your accolades you have tv shows you have you know all these things and yet your relationship with men your relationships with men have historically been in shambles sort of adding my feminine <laughs> perspective uh to the conversation because i know this has been a big conversation throughout black youtube and so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts. So like, share, and subscribe. Click the links in the description box and get to know what I do with my business, Curated Legacy LLC. Join the Black and Invisible YouTube membership group. And uh, purchase my book about being an invisible Black woman on Amazon. This is Nathan here, and I make the invisible visible about modern Black women. And I highlight the things that Black women would never tell you. And as always, stay tuned for more videos.